Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Game Development Log Video Diary and this week I have got a whole load of updates to show you, mostly to do with the disease system but also a few other exciting things as well. So we'll start off with the disease updates and first off this week I added in a disease resistance trait so you can now selectively breed animals to be resistant to disease. I also implemented a disease counter which appears up here when there are some diseased entities in the world and this shows you the current number of entities that have a disease. Clicking on this will actually take you to one of those entities, and if you keep clicking on it, it will take you through all of the diseased entities. In the bonus shop, I added a new healer object, so if the disease gets out of hand, you can now spend your diversity points to cure it. When you place this object, it will heal all of the entities around it, although I haven't actually implemented that yet, and it will also decay after a certain amount of time. To create this healer entity, I added two new components to the entity component system, which were the particle component, allowing entities to now have particle effects, and a very simple animation component, which is what makes it bob up and down. Next up, I did a bit of work in the render engine, and I added a new wind effect for the plants. This distorts the vertices of the models depending on how flexible they are, so you can see that I've made the leaves and the grass very flexible, while the trunks of the trees are only a tiny bit flexible. Moving on, the species shop now contains all of the species that you've currently got unlocked. This firstly allows you to kind of collect species, Pokemon style, plus if you lose a species to disease you no longer have to go through the whole selective breeding process again, instead you can just buy them from the shop, but for a cost of course. You'll also notice that the shop now shows which tier the species are, with these star icons. I also made a couple of little other tweaks, so the inventory now automatically closes when it's empty, or after being idle for a certain amount of time, and I also updated the icon for disease, and the icon for selective breeding. And finally this week, I added some special secret species into the game. These species don't appear in the breeding trees, and they're not unlocked with selective breeding like the other species. Instead, they're unlocked by certain events, or situations. The only example I have of this at the moment is that when a sheep is diseased, it now has a very small chance of giving birth to a new special species, the mutant sheep, which is this terrifying looking animal here. Special entities like this have a different coloured bar in their entity pop-up GUIs, and their name also appears in purple in the species shop, and they'll also probably each have their own special ability or behaviour, but I haven't implemented that just yet. So that is going to be it for this week. Before I finish I need to give a big shout out to the top Patreon supporters from last month who were Crazy Red, Danny D, Michael Waitman, Crazy Rusky, Jerry Bradshaw and Benjamin Fuller. And of course a huge thank you to everyone who's been supporting me on Patreon because without you guys I wouldn't be able to keep making these videos. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fantastic week and I will see you all next time.